India on Wednesday recorded the first death linked to the Omicron in Rajasthan's Udaipur. Udaipur Chief Medical Health Officer Dr. Dinesh said that a 73-year-old man died on December 31 after testing negative twice on December 21 and 25. He died due to post-COVID pneumonia coupled with comorbidities. He had tested positive on December 15 and his genome sequencing report came back on December 25. इनको जो को मोर्बिडिटी थी उसमें हाइपरटेंशन था डायबिटीज मेलिटस था और हाइपोथायरॉइडिज्म था क्योंकि ये डबल नेगेटिव आ चुके थे इसलिए कोविड डेथ तो नहीं मानेंगे लेकिन पोस्ट कोविड डेथ जरूर मानेंगे इनको वैक्सीन की भी दोनों डोज लग चुकी थी India reported 90,928 fresh COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours, which is 55% higher than yesterday's 58,097 cases. Niti Aayog member Dr. V. K. Paul has said that currently, the R0 value that indicates the spread of the infection is 2.69. This is higher than 1.69, which was the value when the second wave was at its peak. Hence, the acceleration of the cases is steeper than ever. The Omicron tally in the country reached 2,630, with Maharashtra registering 797 cases and topping the count, followed by Delhi at 465, Rajasthan 236 and Kerala 234. Mumbai recorded 15,014 COVID-19 cases on Wednesday, the highest single-day surge witnessed since the start of the pandemic in March 2020. The daily positivity rate too shot up to 25%. As the spread continues, officials at the Public Health Department expect the city to record a further daily surge in cases over the next two weeks, which may even lead to an increase in hospitalization. As per ANI, 71 Mumbai police personnel have also tested positive for COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, taking active cases in the force to 265. National capital Delhi is also expected to record 14,000 fresh COVID cases on Thursday as per a statement by Health Minister Satendra Jain. Speaking to reporters, the minister also said that the city is in comfortable position in terms of hospital bed occupancy and there is no need for a lockdown right now. Satendra Jain also added that the number of cases in Delhi is high because a large number of people are being tested for COVID-19 in the city. Amid growing cases, Indian Institute of Technology's Gohati campus has also been declared a containment zone by authorities after a massive number of infections were reported from the premises. At least 60 people have tested positive for coronavirus from the campus. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.